Hi students, this is Mrs. Wint, and these notes are an introduction to inertia, which is in Chapter 2, Section 3 of your textbook. Okay, so in this section, before you watch these video notes, I would like you to watch a video clip called Eureka Number 1. It's about inertia. It's a cartoon that's at least 40 years old, and it was made for public broadcasting, so PBS, similar to Sesame Street kind of thing, but made for middle and high school kids on some science concepts. So please watch that video first before seeing these notes. All right, so inertia, you saw in the Eureka video, means being lazy. The technical term here is inertia is the tendency of an object to resist any change. And what that means is if it's moving, it wants to keep moving in that same velocity. So same direction and same speed. If something's at rest, it wants to stay at rest. That's what inertia is. Inertia also is Newton's first law of motion, which is sometimes called the law of inertia. So that reads an object moving at a constant velocity, so same distance, or I'm sorry, same speed, same direction, keeps moving at that velocity unless an unbalanced force acts on it. So this right here, an unbalanced force, this is could be a push or a pull, like if you're pulling on a box or you're pushing your brother. It also could be the pull of gravity, making something fall. It could be friction when you're trying to move something and friction pushes it back the other way. Those are all examples of unbalanced forces. So things will keep moving in the same way unless an outside unbalanced force, some kind of push or pull, changes the speed or changes the direction. Okay, same thing for objects at rest. Things will stay at rest, so that means not moving, unless one of those unbalanced forces, a push or a pull, acts on it. So if you think about this kitty cat here, this kitty cat will keep napping all day. He's at rest. He wants to stay at rest unless some outside force messes with him. Okay, so like a dog or if the car that he's in right now suddenly stops or something. The cat will probably nap unless there's some outside force that wakes him up. So students, why is it easy to stay awake until 6 a.m., but so hard to wake up at 6? Well, if you're in motion watching your phone, you're going to stay that way. But when you're in bed resting, you tend to stay that way. Hey, it's not really laws of physics, but it does seem to match. All right, I want to show you this video clip here, guys, of some examples of inertia. These are all things that you could do in your house if you got really bored. Um, just clean up after yourself, honor your mother. So the first one here, okay, so what do you just do? So we have like a little square up here sitting on a ring and this square is at rest. When the ring is pulled away, this is still at rest. And he's going to stay right there until gravity pulls him down into the cup. Gravity is the outside force that will make him move. But even though the ring goes sideways, this little cube does not. Okay, I'll try it a little bigger. Okay, another version, a penny with a glass and a card. So that's kind of like a magician pulling a tablecloth from under some dishes and actually the more mass you have the more weight the easier it is to do the trick 
The more water you put in the cup, the easier it is to pull it out. All right, this one's this video here. There we go. All right, so there's just a couple little examples of inertia in action, guys. Um, now, seatbelts are a real big deal. So if you are in a car moving at 80 miles an hour, the car and you are moving at 80 miles an hour. If the car suddenly stops because it hits something, your body is still moving at 80 miles an hour and you will go through the windshield unless you're wearing a seatbelt. The seatbelt connects you to the car. So if the car suddenly stops, you will also suddenly stop. So let me show you a video clip of this in action. This means that when an object will stay moving, a still object will stay still, unless you push or pull on them. There are a few safety devices in your car to protect you from the effects of inertia. The first is your seatbelt. When the front end of your car rams another object, your car will suddenly stop or slow down. Because of inertia, your body will learn to stay moving at whatever speed it was moving before the accident. If you're not wearing a seatbelt, this means you will hit a windshield. The seatbelt provides, provides a force to stop your body's forward motion. The second safety device in your car is a headlight. When your car is hit from behind, the car will suddenly push forward. Your head will learn to stay still, but your body will be pushed forward by the seat. This causes your head to feel like it is snapping back. Your head is actually staying still because of inertia, while the rest of your body is being pushed. Your headrest pushes your head forward with your body so that you don't suffer from whiplash. Look at the difference between a headrest that is properly set versus one that is set too low to push your still head forward. All right, so make sure, please, you always wear your seatbelt. Great advice all the time. All right, so here's another example of inertia. So if you have, are carrying a load of things, so in this case, this is a huge piece of stone, but maybe you have a pickup truck with some sporting equipment in the back or camping gear, a bunch of groceries in the back seats, um, you're hauling cows for a farmer, whatever. Keep in mind, it's not just your body. The stuff in the back also will keep moving. So this truck got in an accident. This load he had in the back was not strapped down. So when the truck suddenly stopped, this brick flew forward. And it didn't go very fast because it was really heavy. But when it hit the, the cab here, it kept going forward and crushed the cab. Uh, the driver was okay in this case, but it's always important to make sure that the gear in the back of your truck or trailers, you also tie down. So if you're in an accident, that gear stays put. All right, we're going to skip these videos here. Um, but what I'd like you to do is this video was an intro to inertia. You have some other video clips on Schoology to watch. We need to learn about balanced and unbalanced forces more before we leave this chapter. And once you are done with that, you are might be ready to try this quiz. The quiz is open book. Okay, so check out what else is in Schoology, do it in order. And hopefully you will remember what inertia is. Have a great day, guys. I will talk to you later.